again. The thrift stores in town have been so good to me lately. So it's time for another vintage cottage core thrift haul and try on with a bit of dark academia as well. I found a little bit of everything, so let's get started. We'll start with the separates first. I got everything in the last week, week and a half, and I've tried on some things, but not others. So we'll see how this works out together. We have a pretty plain, fairly boring, but very useful top. And that is this brownie, orange and white striped top. Little mock neck at the top. I got this mainly for layering. I think for autumn winter, it's just going to complement my wardrobe perfectly. I think it'll be really easy to wear at work, especially. <laughs> and for five pounds, I had to add it to my layering pile. As expected, this top is very cute. The colors remind me a little bit of like a caramel latte. And I think this piece will be perfect for layering in the autumn months to come. Next up we have this 1990s suede style waistcoat type thing. It's really giving me some Indiana Jones, maybe a bit of Ellie from Jurassic Park. I can't really tell if it's beige or light green. It's a really, really unique color going on here. But yeah, another great layering piece in my wardrobe. I sad this piece right on top of my previous outfit to show just how much a small piece like this can really change an outfit. I think it really gives me that girl adventure feel, and I feel ready to do some exploring. Lastly, for the separates, we have this, this beautiful blue 90s skirt. Now, it caught my eye because of the color and pattern, but of course, when I grabbed it, it was my girl, Laura Ashley. This just gives me all of the 90s whimsy goth vibes, which is a style that is really having a renaissance right now. I've already worn this a couple times. As you can see, it's a bit creased. It's just a really cool, unique vintage skirt. I love this skirt. The quality of the pattern is so pretty. I love the shiny blue flowers, and this just fulfills all of my 90s Sabrina the Teenage Witch dreams. Bonus round, bonus round. I am putting all my stuff away, and I forgot about this one I found just the other day. It's not very exciting looking. It's just, it's a plain organic cotton blouse. It's giving me medieval peasant farmer boy. That's what I want. <laughs> That's what I would like to be. So let's go give it a try on. This piece is just how I imagined it would be. It's a little bit baggy, super comfortable, and is ticking all the right peasant boy boxes. <laughs> In the midst of all the clothes I got, we have a little interlude for paper goods. Number one of which I am so very excited about, and that is this book, The Lore of the Unicorn. You may or may not know that I am obsessed with medieval style unicorns, uh, so finding this book is just incredible. It's all about the author's study of the legend of the unicorn throughout history, and like what is the mythic history of the unicorn. Among my other finds is a selection of sewing patterns for 50p each, which you can see here. And finally, for this small paper goods interlude, we have a piece I am so excited to add to my collection. I've just always been one of those girls who's been obsessed with Alice in Wonderland. I have the book version of Alice in Wonderland in like six different editions. In my dream world where I'm obscenely wealthy or obscenely lucky, I have one of the original manuscripts that Lewis Carroll wrote, physically wrote out and sent off. But since I'm not a multimillionaire, this reprint version of it will do just fine. It's a replica of Alice's Adventures Underground, the manuscript, and it's a faithful adaptation with the author's own original illustrations and uh, reproduced as his handwriting. My partner Ben actually found this at the local thrift store for me, not knowing that I was looking for this specific, this edition. Yeah, absolutely thrilled about this find. <laughs> 
Now it is time for dresses. The ones that I've thrifted recently, I'm really excited about, and they're all really different styles. And this first one I have not tried on yet, so let's hope it fits. That is this maxi dress puff sleeve lacy thing. The tag's been cut out, uh, so I have no idea where it's from, but it's lined. It's fairly decent quality. Mostly I was drawn to these like very poofy sleeves and oh, you know, I love a, love a high, high collar. I thought it was giving me those like princessy type of medieval-ish vibes, but I don't, but also maybe a little bit like British lady on a hen do. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but I was intrigued enough I was intrigued enough to buy it and let's go try it on. Yeah, I'm not sure that this dress fit me exactly the way I wanted it to. I think it looks really pretty, but I'm not sure it's exactly my style. And it's a little tight in the arm, you know, I don't have much mobility. So I think I'll be returning this one. This next dress is classic vintage reproduction. And that is this Lindy Bop brown dress. I don't always go for this style of vintage reproduction clothing, and this might be a bit too small for the chest area. I don't often see this style of reproduction clothing in a brown and a cream like this. Like, I see a lot of black and whites and navies and whites and navies and reds and bold colors rather than neutrals. It could be really great, uh, so let's give it a go. I think this dress is really pretty. It's got that really classic quote-unquote vintage look to it but I'm not sure that this one's 100% my current style either. So I don't know, I think I might be returning this one as well, but I do like trying it on. This next dress is far and away my favorite thing I got in the thrift shawl. I've already worn it like two or three times. And that is this like peasant style dress. The print on it is really, um, it's kind of 90s and early 2000s in its uh, high contrast flower print. Like I'm pretty sure I would have used this as a MySpace background back in the day, showing you how old I am. But look at the lacing in the front. Got this like waist peplumy thing, but it's a bit more medieval than like peplum if you know what i feel if you know what i feel know what i mean it's got pockets of course but i especially love these sleeves that are attached to it they're such a delicate and soft fabric and they have a lovely um ring of lace around it it's just it's just kind of the perfect thing that was waiting for me absolutely thrilled with this thrift find now this is a dress that i definitely won't be bringing back <laughs> I love this dress so much. It's just the right size. I love the styling of it. And I just truly feel like a medieval lady. And that is it for the thrift haul I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could like it. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. I upload new videos almost every Friday. I hope you have a great day wherever you are, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye! Now you get to see my messy room.